Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and I'm Mahika. Welcome, Welcome to the intermediate class. The intermediate class is for around 10 to 13 year olds. From learning teamwork to being first adult dancers, we have it all. Yes, and after winning the Auckland the Valley Festival competition in 2019, we were more excited to push ourselves to be even better dancers. Yeah, I love how motivated our team is to try any and every dance style that comes their way. We literally wait for Saturday every week so that we can bond with our teammates and enjoy dancing together. Today, you get to be our intermediate class through the virtual show. That's right, I hope you enjoy watching our team's journey and the performances we've prepared for you all. Our intermediate category is the category for 10 to 13 year olds and what a fun bunch this is. Friendship is key within this uh, class and with friendship also comes friendly competition. So you'll often see a good healthy competition between the girls and the guys in this class. Through these classes and performance opportunities, we see more confident dancers that shine bright on stage. There are quite a few students within this class who have evolved from being shy to a lot more confident dancers. That was a huge experience and it was a big move but it was worth it though. Intermediate B involves heaps of crisp moves. You need to keep up with it. You need to practice a lot, a lot. Agli baar mukable ka man ho na, to kuch naya seek kya na. Hamare paas aur bhi baat kam hai. Tum logo ko zalil karne ke alawa. Aakh thur me se bhar ke tayar ki, kich kich ke nishane ho main maati. Here at Kote Sikke, we embrace individuality and you know it's amazing to see students coming with different interests and different backgrounds. So whether it's Harbani bringing her Punjabi, her Bhangra, um, love for Bhangra and then embracing that within KS and whether it's embracing you know Anshika and her love for K-pop and to be honest that is what makes Kote Sikke. Um, I was really happy and um, like the new choreography and new dances. It was hard but um, yeah it was really enjoyable. Talking about fun, well these kids are no short of ideas so before a routine would start if there's any extra music at the beginning trust them to come up with something really fun where they'll just lead the pack. It was amazing just making new friends and learning new dances and basically everything was super fun. And the Indie King was probably the best um, because I got to do so much like stunts I even got to smack my own moustache <laughs> yeah jumping and doing the superman dive <laughs> they started shouting and stuff and that gave me a lot of confidence and I started dancing like no one was watching like Simba expressions and stuff yeah I just acted like I didn't oh, he wasn't there so I wouldn't have any pressure but <laughs> so I just went all out like I used every expression I could uh, that's when I just tried my best and let everything out. It gives you a lot of confidence when you have like another boy with you. And I remember when I was in Juniors A, I started with like no one, I was so lonely. And then like everyone came in and like gave me confidence. Enjoying with my friends. I'm like enjoying with other people and like learning moves and like kind of contributing with people and practicing and then like from the start of the year and then from the end to see the differences and how I improved a lot. Well, it's a home where you express your dance skills and let the music go with your moves. It's a really fun experience to be in the KS family.
for example, for Intermediate B, the hats that they had for Mukabla. Uh, and, and I went around shopping with her and I said, hey, do they really need that? But when I saw the kids together and, and what that little piece of costuming did to their performance, it, was, it, looked, it just looked great. And uh, the amount of thought Keisha put in behind that, uh, on the color that matters, uh, what side does it need to sit on, uh, how does the hair need to be because of that little prop, where are we going to get it from. So all those little things um, make such a big difference to how the kids feel and act on the day and how the viewers, when they see the video, feel um, about the performance. One thing that has been consistent for me um, has been the drive to be able to provide different yet exciting opportunities to all my students. Every single year, so I'm always thinking of, you know, what else can we do to make them experience a different part of dancing? Last year was the first year that we introduced a workshop type setting for our kids within our classes. So they got around, a semicircle they got to cheer each other along at the same time they had that opportunity to have the limelight on them as they go forward and perform in groups of threes and that has been the most rewarding experience for every single student whether it's to push them beyond their comfort zone or whether it was for them to just take a lead and enjoy that experience So I hope you enjoyed this journey of intermediates. If you have someone who is 10 to 13 year old and you'd like to enroll them for our classes, then we'd love to see you at Blockhouse Bay Community Center. And of course, we can't wait to see our intermediates slowly step into our advanced category, the ACE team. See you soon.